Evan, I want you to really help me with this. Um, this is uh, what's called a good old fashioned Ben Franklin tea, mm -hmm. where you just put down pros and cons here, and you say on the good side that maybe they don't focus on enough uh, is that you are a hard worker, okay? That would be one thing on the good side. What would be another thing on the good side about you? I'm kind. That you're kind. You can be kind, right? Correct. Okay, what else? Um, I'm good with my little brothers. I'm sorry? I'm good with my little brothers. Okay, on the negative side, uh, you admit that you lie. Correct. Uh, you admit that you steal. Correct. Uh, you admit that you have really uh, poor judgment. Correct. Right? Uh, you admit that you have a problem with impulse control. Not always, but at times. Um, are you relationship dependent? Do you feel like you need to be in a relationship all the time? At, at the lowest points of my life, yes. That's where it gets to be an issue where I say that it's relationship dependent. Um, where it's not that you want to be in a relationship, you feel like you have to be in a relationship. You're in 25 different dating apps, so you got a lot of hooks in the water. Um, and if you're lying and stealing, poor judgment, poor impulse control, and relationship dependent, those things have consequences. And you just said, you know, I'm 18 now, and there is a shift when you become 18. There's a shift because when you're 18, they can't tell you what to do anymore. You can do whatever you want to do. But there is another big factor that you're really, really missing when you turn 18 that I think you don't get yet. And I want to explain to you what that is and why I think it's going to make a huge difference in your life if you can wrap your mind around this. Now, I want to be selfish on Evan's behalf for a minute. And I really want you to listen to what I'm saying because I'm, I'm the least judgmental person I've ever met. I mean, I mean, there may be less judgmental people than me, but I don't know who it would be. And I'm going to tell you something that you need to really, really learn, and that is this. You have to decide what do you deserve. Not what she deserves, not what he deserves from you, not what she deserves from you, but what you deserve from you. Because you're either going to wind up a convicted felon and you're going to spend years in jail, or you're going to pull your act together and you're going to say, I deserve better than I'm giving myself here. I deserve better than that. I am not going to generate results from a second class personal truth. If my personal truth is damaged, if it's wounded, if I've been really hurt along the way, I'm going to heal those wounds because I'm going to walk with dignity and pride in my life. Not to please her, not to please him, not to please her, but to give yourself the chance that you want. You are settling too cheap. You are selling yourself short. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes, sir. Now, I will get you some help with this. I, I will. I will get you some help with this. And you've been to therapists. You've been sent away. You've been done. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to get you some help that will work with you on one concept, and that is healing your personal truth. And that's a lot easier to do than you might think it is. It has to do with your internal dialogue, what you're saying to yourself, and then behaving your way to success. Winners do things losers don't want to do. You can start doing things that you haven't required of yourself in the past, and you're going to start seeing things fall into place. And I don't want you to do it because she wants you to, or he wants you to, or she wants you to, or I want you to. Screw me, screw them. Do this because it's what you deserve.